I was hoping to wait on making this video to give the Pulse Elites more use time because I like to use these kinds of things for a while before offering up my review, but I can't wait on this one. I think it's important to share my discoveries as soon as possible in hopes to help you make a better purchasing decision considering these are just uh, newly released. If you're looking for a quick answer to whether you should buy these or not, I'm going to say that you should pass on these and maybe go for a set of Sony's Inzone H5s or H7s or maybe even the H9s. Uh, I know the H9s are kind of expensive uh, in comparison to these, but I think you're better off there. With all that said, let's get right into unboxing this thing. So here is the PlayStation Pulse Elite box. Uh, this is compatible with PS5, PC, Mac, and mobile. Uh, there's a quick little compatibility guide here with images, and this is the left ear cup with the microphone in it. Taking it around the back, you can see that there's a lot to discuss like uh, for marketing purposes of this uh, Pulse Elite headset, as well as some tamper-proof um, packaging seal here. Going on to the other side, it's gonna give you some more information on uh, lifelike reproduction of game sound. So with that being said, let's flip it around the bottom and see uh, this retail packaging has this peel here that is very poorly implemented because it doesn't follow through with the whole thing. Let's see if I can get this one. That one looks to work. That worked fine. This one's lost. That one's a lost cause, but there's also tamper proof packaging here. So we'll get our knife here, our trusty knife cut into this portion here, as well as uh, cutting this tamper proof packaging thing here as well. And I believe this just slides out towards the bottom. I want to be careful because if you slide it out, this stuff has a tendency to fall. So you're provided a quick start guide that has nothing but images. Uh, looks really explanatory in nature and I think it's pretty useful. You're greeted with the USB-A receiver. It's still quite large and cumbersome. I don't understand the design choice here, especially when you consider that some folks are going to have the new PlayStation Slim that the front two USB ports are USB-C. Uh, one thing about this is that it has an actuation for, for pairing if you watch closely if you push here uh, when you have it in your playstation or pc uh, you're going to push here to pair uh, you can see how there's a little fluctuation between uh, the usb end of or the usb business end of it and the, the receiver end. So putting this off to the side and getting into the primary packaging here uh, this looks like it's the headset with some foam coverings which is nicely packaged and then on the side here, there is some uh, shipping foam here that you're gonna wanna press up and take off. I'll do that here. Uh, same thing with on the right side, go up. Just follow the arrow direction and it's, this comes off really nicely. And then uh, before we look at this any closer, I'm gonna place this off to the side so we can get into the rest of the packaging of the box because there's a bunch of hidden goodies inside of it. Right off the rip here is the user manual and regulatory information that is kind of hard to get your hands on. Uh, hopefully I don't rip it. Let's go over here on this end. If I was smart enough to kind of go through or look at the packaging, you can see. Uh, specifications and user manual here. Uh, you're gonna wanna pay attention to the box here because there's a bunch of like packaged stuff. Uh, you you kind of lift this and lift this as such and then there's a little pull down tab here pull that down lift it and roll it out uh, that's uniquely packaged uh, there is let's pull this out here is the mount that you can use to mount on a desk or something or a wall or something like that and uh, the mount the business end of that is here uh, there is no screw included uh, in this packaging, which is a little weird, if I do say so myself. This has the little, um, you know, touch points to where it can charge your headset. If we bring the Pulse Elite headset back into picture here real quick, you can see right here on the, the top of the band, there are those touch points to where this will process a charge when you hang this thing on uh, your wall or whatnot. So looking at this real a uh, little closer, you can see there's this nice little guide here that allows you to uh, kind of not even have to look at the alignment for this because there is the guide hole there on this uh, touch point. Take this and you have uh, inductive charging. So that's a nice little feature. I wish they would have included uh, an actual screw to mount this to wherever you needed to, but it's just not, so just keep that in mind. Uh, there's a, another quick start guide for mounting that is included in the packaging. 
Uh, again, there's a screw pictured, but there is no screw included in the packaging, which is weird. And they're also, you know, they talk about the guide point and how to, to mount this for charging. And finally, the, the last thing that's included in the accessory part of this headset is a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. So you can use this to plug into the actual charging uh, adapter. So that just slides in and this is square. So th this square end of the USB-C lines up perfectly with this and plugs in pretty easily. Snap it in place and then that's plugged in and this is ready to rock and roll depending on where you're gonna charge this from. Also, uh, you're gonna wanna note is that there is no wall wart included, so you're gonna have to furnish your own wall wart in the purchase of this. So, so it seems like the cost is adding up because of how much this thing costs in the, in the long run, but it is what it is. So with that being said, let's move all this crap out of the way and take a closer look at the headset. Um, this rubber on this headband, I am not a huge fan of. It's got that real, um, adherence to it so it's gonna grab all this little dust as you can see I just took this out of the box so there's no way that this gathered this much dust this is all packaging dust from um, the shipping uh, container so I am not already from the rip I am not super excited about this material choice hopefully PlayStation will bring some sort of material change in the in the you know, in the long run. So it doesn't look like this is going to be uh, customizable in any way, shape or form because of the way that this material is it, uh, connected to the headband. Uh, not super impressed, not super excited about this material choice, uh, just from the initial impressions that I'm getting from this headset. Another thing with the ear cups, they're pretty simple, um, but I'm concerned with the hinge there. This hinge design could prove problematic with some of you out there that wanna kind of travel with these and whatnot. Uh, Cause that doesn't seem like a substantial, doesn't seem like it's a substantial enough connection to the ear cup, uh, to the headband. Time will tell and we'll see how that holds up over time. As you can see, uh, the left side is a, a bit longer because it has a microphone hidden away in its uh, design there. I really like that. And taking a closer look at the microphone end of this, there is a mute, uh, switch there and some little uh, design language there. That's that's really nicely uh, implemented. I like I like the way this feels. This feels really nice. It looks like you put it in place into whatever place placement you want after you uh, you know take it out of its uh, housing, and it's going to stay no problem. And then whenever you're done, you can stow this microphone away, and it sits there really nicely. Taking an even closer look on the right ear cup, there's some volume, there's a volume knob and a USB-C port, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack area and the power on. Closer look at the headband, yeah, it feels nice when you do that. You know, it may look like it's a little uh, stiff, but it's not. I wouldn't go beyond that. So uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm very excited to test this thing out considering I have a, a larger than normal head and we'll see how these ear cups hold up over time. One thing that I am concerned about with is the material uh, because it's not breathable. It's just like pleather type stuff. And you know, playing for long periods of time, my ears get hot. Having hot ears is probably one of the first things that will end my gaming session early because uh, the ear fatigue is something that I'm pretty concerned with, uh, especially the size of this ear cup. I have medium to large size ears and the depth of them is a little a little shallow. But that being said, those are just my initial impressions and concerns with this headset. As you can see, there's a little bit of scratching going on here. And I just took this stuff out of the package. So uh, just be aware that that type of stuff is what you can expect from the PlayStation Pulse Elite headset from Sony. Sony says the Pulse Elite wireless headset is a groundbreaking advancement in gaming audio. There's the claim that this headset offers an exceptional audio experience because of the use of planar magnetic drivers. Usually this type of driver is used in reference headphones and I can see that Sony thought that this would ensure the likelihood that the sound would be good in its reproduction for your favorite games. I'll talk more about this in more detail here shortly. Uh, Sony wants you to stay connected in the in a kind of a seamless way using their lossless and rapid PlayStation Link wireless connection. I can say that this works fantastically and it immediately connects to your PlayStation 5. The Elite has a retractable microphone which features an AI enhanced noise re uh, rejection feature. 
uh, that will block out background noise uh, really effectively. Sony claims that this thing has around 30 hours of battery life and I haven't been able to kill them. The quick charging capabilities of the Pulse Elites are a nice to have and these things are definitely built to outlast even your longest gaming sessions. Let's talk about some key features really quick. Sony has claimed to have revolutionized gaming audio with their next generation gaming headset that is said to deliver unparalleled sound and quality. I beg to differ on that one, Sony. Uh, these just don't meet that mark. That being said, they're claiming this is because they're due to the planar magnetic drivers uh, that are built into this headset. They partnered with Odyssey on this one and the drivers sound fantastic when you're looking for that precise sound reproduction within the highs and the mids. However, you do sacrifice that deep bass when you use this type of driver technology. I'm gonna try something a little different here. These are the Sennheiser Ambio headsets, uh, and this is where I'm gonna ask you to put on a set of headphones. Uh, so I'm going to try to record the sound as I hear it. Uh, that is coming from this headset with these on. Uh, this headset gives me the ability to record the sound as I'm hearing it in my own ears myself. So as you can see how I've set this up, this is where I'm gonna ask you to put on your headphones now and then we'll play some sound through the Pulse Elite headset to kind of give you an idea of how this thing sounds. I mean, this is as close as it's gonna get in video form. So hopefully this is helpful to you. If it turns out well, uh, feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this type of uh, test and maybe I'll continue it forward with my future reviews. Set is powered by PlayStation's Link technology uh, for that ultra low latency wireless connectivity. And I can say confidently that the connection is rather strong and has a longer range than that of my Inzone H7s, uh, but just by a little bit. Additionally, the headset offers multi-device wireless connectivity feature, allowing users to connect to a variety of devices at the same time. This is where you would use Bluetooth to connect directly to your phone or tablet while simultaneously connecting to your gaming session using your PlayStation. And this dual pairing Bluetooth feature is pretty dang useful. This type of feature is becoming the standard and I like that Sony gave us the ability to stay connected and engaged while answering calls or enjoying music while gaming. The Elite headset features AI enhanced noise rejection for crystal clear communication, immersing you in uh, your party chat in your gaming audio. The Elite headset has uh, less physical buttons, which is a good thing when you compare it to its original Pulse headset. Uh, but falls short on giving you the buttons that you actually need. And I'm more closely referring to the chat mix rocker on the Endzone H7 headset that I use all the time and the elites just don't have this capability. And to me, this is a huge loss for gamers since now I'm back to having to jump into the PS5's quick menu to make those adjustments. So with the retractable microphone, this thing allows you to pull it out and put it in any place and it stays, um, you know, in place pretty nicely. And it maintains that sleek appearance of the headset, minimizing peripheral uh, distractions in your eyes. Uh, this uh, also has a physical control on it that allows you to mute. It's right there on the tip of the microphone and it mutes really quickly and also initiates a sound in the headset that'll let you know that it is muted. And you still have enough visual here that uh, the red light shows up when you have it muted that uh, gives you that visual cue that you know that you are muted. The physical controls you do have are intuitive enough to quickly adjust where they are located because everything's on the right side. So the volume rocker's towards the back 
and the power and pair buttons up towards the front and makes it for easy volume adjustment. And that's where I wish that they would have included a chat mix and game mix uh, rocker as well, because there's enough space here, or even on this side where the, the microphone is. So with that being said, let's demo how freaking amazing this AI enhanced noise reduction is. So the AI enhanced noise reduction on the Pulse Elite headset is phenomenal. I really, really like it. And I think this microphone does a really good job at just uh, focusing in on your voice and suppressing the background. So I have some chips here that I'm going to eat uh, just in case uh, you are one of those friends or if you have one of those friends, you can recommend this headset to them because it will uh, suppress this type of noise. Because as I'm talking, you can hear it come through uh, as it focuses on my voice. But if I stop and um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some chips. As you can see, it does a great job of suppressing all that noise. Um, I really think this is a neat feature of the Pulse Elite headset. Um, before I close this mic test, I want to go into its um, stowed away mode so you can hear the differences because you can use this microphone without it uh, fully extended. And here's a sample of the microphone in its stowed away mode. It still picks up a good amount of voice uh, using it in this mode. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's still very usable. Anyways. Let me know what you think with a comment down below of this uh, test. Uh, was it useful? Uh, what do you think about the quality of this microphone, especially when you consider the AI enhanced noise reduction? Okay, so now that all of that part of the video is over where I've kind of highlighted what this headset does and how it sounds and all that type of stuff, here's why I want to spend some time to talk with you that have big heads and medium to large size ears like I do. And those of you that want to save some money as well. So the ear cups on this headset are pretty shallow and they create a seal around your ear if you have short hair or even if you don't have short hair, it creates this like vacuum tight seal. Uh, some of you may like that, but it is so quick to heat up my ears in a gaming session that it creates a little bit of moisture around my ear and then becomes airtight. So if you have tinnitus like I do, and you press on the headset like this, it creates like this vacuum uh, that pulls on your ear hole and then it's really unpleasant. Like if I press like this, it feels like it's sucking out my eardrum. Um, the same here. I mean, I guess some of you may like that kind of seal around your ears where you have this passive noise cancellation, but because of the material and the way that it is built in such a shallow way that if you press on it, that, that, is, that, is un, that creates an unpleasant feeling for me. So if that is something that you are concerned with, I can say that you should not purchase this headset because um, you know, sometimes I go like this or I'm pressing on the mic or I'm pulling on the mic. It's creating this vacuum pull on my eardrum and I absolutely hate it. I don't like that at all. The next thing with this is that the headband is not comfortable at all. All the rubber design around this edge here uh, have a tendency to pull on your hair and pull it back. You know, it's just not comfortable at all and it picks up a ton of dust. And with that, like there is zero to almost no adjustment to how the ear cups fall. So let's say you had lower ears and a, like a taller, longer head as I have in this video and you pull it down. I am at the max point to where this is. So if my ears were a little bit lower, this thing would not fit them at all. It's just, there's no ear cup adjustment that's uh, like uh, raise in height and stuff like that. It's just not possible. Uh, like that uh, is on the, you know, the H7s. You see that adjustment on this? This doesn't exist on the, on the Pulse Elites. So the headband and the ear cups for me make this thing a no-go like right off the rip. And that's a great segue for uh, my last and final critique of this headset and it's its sound. It's just not there for the gaming experience. I've used the Mobius by Odyssey and that experience is day and night in comparison to this headset. Uh, I'm no sound engineer, but if I had to guess why uh, the low end is so bad on this headset, I'd say that it's due to the ear cup design and the fit. 
Uh, there's just not enough room or enough space inside this thing or inside the ear cups to give you that sound that I think you deserve at this price range for the gaming experience this is that you're looking to, to have with this. The lows are extremely muddy and distorted to a point to where I had concerns that uh, this thing might be defective, but it's, it's not. It's just the way that the planner magnetic drivers work and there's so much limited space within these ear cups that it just doesn't allow it to perform as it should i think but with that being said if you don't care much about lows uh, the planner magnetic drivers in this thing deliver phenomenally in the mids and highs with a very distinct sound stage that uh, will absolutely blow your mind because it has unmatched separation in this type of price range for a headset. With that all being said, I really hate to be the bearer of bad news on this one because I wanted to love this headset so much. But I have to say that there is much better headsets out there in this price range that I think you would be thankful for if you picked uh, over this. Uh, it's this just doesn't this ain't it you guys and it's I mean I hate to be that guy and but that's that is what it is you may want to consider the steel series Arctis Nova 7 wireless uh, headset or Sony's own you know uh, in zone H7s which I, I really really love and fortunately I did a video on both of those headsets that I recommended to you that are uh, good alternatives to the Pulse Elite and if you're interested in learning more feel free to watch those videos because I'll leave them linked in the description Again, sorry for this one, Sony, but the Pulse Elites are not very elite in my personal opinion. I hope y'all can take this feedback and make some updates to the next version of this headset because I think there's something here, especially with the planner magnetic head drivers, but th this ain't it, guys. Uh, I will close this video out by saying that I had my sons test this as well to make sure that it wasn't just me, and I'm gonna bring them into this video and kind of give them an opportunity to speak on this really quickly. So let's hop over to that right now. Okay, so this is my oldest son. What did you think about these headphones? Mm, they're okay. But it's just like sometimes I would play with them and then they would like hold my ears. Yeah. Yeah. So do you which headset would you pick? Would you pick the, the ones that you have or would, would you pick these? I would choose that one for a cushion, but that one for like gaming and hearing and stuff. For sound? Yeah. Um, so th w this one's more comfortable mm -hmm. for you and this one's not that comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, bud. Okay, so here's my youngest son. Did you like this headset? Yeah, a little bit. So what was your favorite part about it? It was kind of that I could hear a little bit better. Yeah, so yeah. more detail. Yeah. But what's wrong with this headset? It just like, right when you turn it up, like in your playing a game, then you probably can't like they're really loud and you so they're loud yeah which headset would you pick if you had to pick would you pick your headset that you have now or these those ones which ones my the, headset right this now. one yeah why because like if if you turn it up it's like not that loud and you can hear stuff fine and, and this one Okay. Okay, so that does it for my son's feedback on the Pulse Elite headset. If you're interested in pricing and availability of the Pulse Elite headset, I'll leave a uh, affiliate link in the description. Full of disclosure, that is my affiliate link, so I make a little bit of commission based off your purchases without it costing you anything in addition to your order. That helps support content creation here on this channel, and I'm extremely grateful if you use my affiliate links to purchase. Well, before I close, I have nothing else to disclose. I purchased these with my own hard-earned cash with the support of you guys out there, and I, I'm sincerely grateful for that. That about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas, and I'll catch you in the next one.